Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101. Today we're going to be looking at all Blender shortcuts in one video. All shortcuts have been categorized depending on what you're working on or what the shortcut does. First category, we're going to look at by menus. The period key opens the pivot point by menu and the accent grave opens the viewport by menu. The comma opens the axis orientation menu. Holding control while pressing tab will give you a pie menu for all object modes of any selected objects. For example, if it's a mesh, the pie menu will have seven modes, including object, edit, sculpt, vertex, paint, texture paint, and weight paint. While if it's a curve, you will only have two modes, which include edit and object mode. Shift S opens the snap pie menu. Z opens the viewport shading pie menu. Shift O opens the proportional editing pie menu. Alt W opens the default back tools menu. That's it for the pie menus. Now let's go to menus and their shortcuts. Ctrl N opens the new file menu. Shift A opens the add menu. Shift space opens the tools menu. If you want to select objects of different types, use Shift G. For selecting linked objects, use Shift L. Shift M opens the link collection menu. Q opens the quick favorites menu. F3 opens the search menu. F4 opens the files menu at your cursor. Use Ctrl P to set a parent or to open the set parent menu. Alt P opens the clear parent menu. Alt A opens the apply properties menu. Ctrl H hides and opens the hide collection menu. Ctrl L opens the link stroke transfer menu for when you want to link object data. Ctrl Shift O opens the recent projects menu. Ctrl Shift G will open the add selected to active collection menu. Ctrl Alt G will open the remove from collection menu. U in edit mode will open the unwrap menu. P in edit mode opens the separate selected menu. X in edit mode will open the delete menu. M in edit mode will open the merge menu. Alt E will open the extrude menu. Alt N in edit mode will open the no mouse menu. Alt M in edit mode will also open the split menu. Ctrl E in edit mode will open the edge menu. Ctrl F in edit mode will open the face menu. Ctrl V will open the vertex menu. Ctrl G will open the assign vertex group menu. Ctrl H will open the hooks menu. E in sculpt mode opens the stroke menu. A in sculpt mode opens the mask edit menu. Now let's go to the viewport shortcuts. The home key on your keyboard will zoom in to show all the objects in your scene. You can move through the different workspaces using control page up or page down. And alternatively, you can switch between working areas using shift and all the F1 keys for the different working areas. If you have a camera in your scene, you can view through it using the zero key on your numpad. If you have more than one camera in your scene, you can set any camera you have selected as the main camera by using control zero. Control plus zero on your numpad will switch you to the camera view and control alt zero will set the current 3D view as your camera view. Ctrl Alt Q opens and closes the quote view. Number keys 1, 3, 7, and 9 will switch between different views front, right, top, bottom, respectively. And holding down Ctrl when switching between these views will give you the opposite view. For example, Ctrl 1 will give you the back view instead of the front. Ctrl 7 will give you the bottom view instead of the back and so forth. The period key or the delete key on your numpad will zoom in to the selected object if you're changing a property in the viewport, for example, moving an object or rotating or scaling, you can hold down control to snap in increments. If you want precision or really small increments, hold down shift while changing the values. Control O will open a saved project. Control S will save the current project. Control N creates a new project. Control Z undoes previous steps you made. Control Shift S redoes the steps you have undone using Ctrl Z. Ctrl Q will exit Blender. F2 renames selected object. Ctrl F2 will rename multiple selected objects. F9 will let you edit previous properties you were editing. Like if you're rotating an object in the viewport, pressing F9 will bring back the rotation options. F11 shows your previous render. F12 renders current frame. You can minimize and maximize the area you are working in using Ctrl Space. Ctrl Alt Space will toggle full screen area. You can use X to delete selected items, but you will get a confirmation box. If you don't want a confirmation box, you can use the delete key. Use A to select all objects. Alt A deselect everything. H hides selected items. Shift H will hide all unselected objects or items. Alt H reveals hidden items. 
T-shows or hides the toolbar, and that is the toolbar on your left, and N shows or hides the sidebar, that would be the sidebar on your right. Control accent grave will show or hide the gizmo in your viewport. Shift accent grave will start the walk stroke fly navigation. B is for box select, C is for circle select, Alt Z will toggle the X ray view, forward slash will isolate selected objects, Shift C will reset your 3D cursor to the center, Shift B zooms in using a box selection, Shift C in orthographic view of your 3D view will center all objects, Shift Z can be used to toggle between wireframe, Ctrl G creates a new collection. You can use Alt-B to clip the viewport and unclip it. Ctrl i can invert any selection. Now let's look at Blender properties shortcuts. Colors and vectors are properties with more than one value, so Ctrl c and Ctrl v won't copy the entire property. Using Ctrl alt c and Ctrl alt v will copy all the three values or paste them into another vector or color. If you are editing values for multiple objects, you can update them all at once by simply holding Alt as you change the values. Pressing backspace over any value will reset the values to the default. Now let's look at object mode shortcuts. The tab key is used to switch between edit and object modes. Control 1 can set a subdivision surface level of 1. You can also add a subdivision level of 2 or 3 if you use Control 1 or Control 2, Control 3, Control 4 and so on. If you are in edit mode, keys 1, 2 and 3 can be used to select vertices, edges and faces respectively. If you want to see vertices, edges and faces at the same time, hold down shift and press 1, 2, 3 to see the vertices, edges and faces at once. R rotates selected objects. If you hit R twice, you can rotate the object using a trackball. Shift W in edit mode can bend meshes and shift r will repeat any action you made previously ctrl a applies all transformation in object mode alt a will clear rotation of selected objects alt g will, will reset the location of selected objects to the center alt s will reset the scale of the selected objects to a value of one ctrl j will join in, in selected objects as long as they are the same type you can transform objects on their local axis by pressing the axis Twice. For example, if you want to scale any object on the x-axis, you can hit S and then X for that axis. You can also transform objects on a plane by pressing Shift and the axis you want to extrude from that plane. For example, if you want to scale the object on the X and Y axis, you just hit S and then Shift Z to lock the scale on the X and Y plane. Ctrl C and Ctrl V are robust shortcuts. You can use them to copy and paste any data type, object or settings. You can also use it to, to make copies of objects in the same project or paste them into another Blender project that is open. You can remove any parent by using Alt P and you can use Shift D to make duplicates of any objects. Alt D makes duplicates, but these would be in a form of instances that are linked to the original objects. You can move selected objects to a collection by pressing M. Ctrl M will mirror the selected objects on any axis selected. For example, if you want to mirror an object on the x-axis, you hit M and then X to mirror that on the x-axis. Full stop or period will toggle between object manipulation and object origin manipulation. This means that uh, if you try to rotate the object, it will rotate the origin instead of the object itself until you toggle back to object manipulation using control period. Edit mode shortcuts. In edit mode, you can merge vertices by using M. You can slide edges by using G twice, and you can extrude any geometry using E. You can fill faces using F and add loop cuts using Ctrl R, and you can use the middle mouse wheel, add more cuts. You can select loop cuts by using Alt and then selecting any edge. You can use Ctrl Alt right click to select edge rings or face rings. You can select multiple faces, edges, or vertices by holding down shift, and you can insert faces using I. If you have more than one face selected, you can insert individual faces using I twice to insert them individually, and you can bevel edges of faces using Ctrl B, you can bevel vertices using Ctrl Shift B. Make cuts in your meshes using K, split selected faces from the rest of your mesh using Y, V is used to rip faces from meshes, and Alt-V is used to fill, to fill rip. Basically, whenever you rip a face, 
you can also fill it at the same time. If you have multiple mesh pieces, you can use Ctrl L to select connected polygons. You can use O to toggle proportional editing on. Use Ctrl Alt Shift S to shear the object. Alt S will shrink or flatten the object. E is for extrude. Ctrl T will triangulate your mesh. Alt J will untriangulate the mesh. Ctrl P will make the vertex the parent of any selected object. And now let's look at scope mode shortcuts. If you use R in scope mode, it will open up the voxel grid and Ctrl R will remesh your mesh using the voxel grid. I opens the inflate brush. P is for the pinch brush. F sets the brush radius. G is for the grab brush. K is for the hook brush. L is for the layer brush. X is for the draw brush. C is for the clay brush. Shift C is for the crease brush. B is for drawing masks using a box selection. M is for drawing masks with a brush. Shift A draws a circular mask from the cursor. Shift W is for drawing colored masks. Shift T is for the flattened brush. Shift S opens the smooth brush. Shift F is for setting the brush fall off. Shift H is for hiding facets. Shift B is for zooming in. Ctrl I is for mask flat fill. Ctrl D is for using dinotopo. Now let's look at animation shortcuts. Space bar is for playing the timeline and pausing it as well. Shift Ctrl space plays the timeline in reverse. To quickly insert a keyframe at the current frame, press I in the viewport to get a list of properties to keyframe or hover over any property and press I to record the values on the timeline. Alternatively, if you want to clear all keyframes of the selected objects, use Shift Alt I. Drivers are used to change properties according to the rules you set in the driver settings. If you want a quick way to add drivers, move your mouse over the property and use the shortcut Ctrl D. To clear the driver of any property, use Ctrl Alt D. K is for creating a key set. A key set is a group of properties that can be keyframed whenever you hit I. Because Blender has a lot of properties that you may want to animate, Finding them every time you want to add a keyframe can be tedious. So K adds any properties to a key set that when you hit I will be automatically keyframed at any particular keyframe. And finally, we have Blender text editing shortcuts. If you're editing text, home will take you to the beginning of the text and will take you to the ending of the text. The left and right keys will move the cursor left or right one character at a time. Control left and control right will move the cursor left or right through the entire word and backspace or delete will delete characters. Control backspace or control delete deletes entire words. Shift makes a selection while moving the cursor and holding the key. Control A selects the entire text. Control C copies the text. Control X cuts the selected text and control V pastes, pastes text at the position of the cursor.